I don't have time to go get the tripod, so I'm just propping y'all up. Y'all actually on my printer right now, but I don't want to talk about it. Okay, how you guys doing first? Hello, society. Today's Tuesday, April 26th. It's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I have been getting work done all day. Um, I'm sitting here at my desk, as you can see. I um, would just want to jump on here really quick to check in with you guys because I haven't talked to you guys since... I'm trying to think the last time I picked up this camera. I recorded when... Oh, I recorded when I took my cousin on a um, sister-cousin date um, to the comedy show to go see the Plastic Cut Boys, which they were so funny. Um, and that was, when was that? I don't even remember where, when we went. It was, it had to be one day last week. Hold on, let me turn my phone off because it'll keep dinging. Um, that was Saturday, I think. Yeah, it was Saturday. So it's Tuesday, like I said. Um, so I haven't checked in with you guys since Saturday, and um, right now I'm just so right now I'm just working on my computer. I'm in like my I got like my list of things you guys know. I finally hired someone for the administrative assistant position, which I think I mentioned here on camera because as I'm growing, I can't do everything, and it's actually making me less productive um and it's also i'm missing deadlines and stuff that i set for myself or any deadlines that i may have with like certain brands or something also you know it's just not as efficient like in the beginning you can be efficient you can be on it and that's something that you always want to be your goal because honestly a, a business that's not efficient is just like why are you in business you know what i mean like hang it up you know so that's not what i'm in this for <laughs> so like if you know me you know my business is like my life it really is even more so than my personal life like my business always seems to reign over everything and that's just because i'm just one of those people who are very serious about business so um i have to hire people and that's just that i'm gonna give you guys some quick advice if you don't know this but i'm not going to say that you don't know because people know but sometimes it just may not be you know the per the perspective that they're looking at right now and so i'm going to give you some real logical make sense perspective and to get better <laughs> to make more money um to be where you want to be you're here right now you want your business to be down the street in order for you to get down the street, you have to hire people. Yeah, you're going to look at it, uh, a closed-minded person would look at it like, you know, they're stretching their funds or they may can't afford to give anyone money. But the thing is, you can afford to pay someone to, to help you with <laughs> to grow your business because ultimately you're going to make double because your productivity is a lot better, you're more efficient, that person has their task, which is helping you. You have your task. It takes a lot off your plate, so you don't have to think about the things that you assign someone to do to help you with. So hire a team. All the wealthy people, they have a team. Every company that you see that's operating, it operates by people, a team. Hire people. My goal is to hire as many people as I possibly can for specific job titles that I come across as I'm trying to grow my business. So we have one member now and I'm so excited about that. She's the first men member of, you know, the team other <laughs> other than me and of course family members helping out, which shout out to my aunt because she's a part of my team and she's a family member and you know, she does things that help my business that also help her, you know, things that she does in her business. So it just kind of coordinates really good. Um, so we're growing y'all and I'm excited about that. I'm excited to see where this goes. Yeah, I just want to check in with you guys, update you. I know you like to hear updates and really what's going on because it helps you see day to day stuff. Also, it gives you ideas for, you know, to implement in your businesses and your journeys and stuff. So I try to give you guys, you know, the tea. So love you guys. Bye society. I'm going to finish this because I'm on a roll and obviously the kids aren't here. So like it's quiet and i'm literally getting tasks done otherwise i'll be pushed back i have a webinar tonight um on my academy platform so if you're not on my mentoring uh platform you want to join because 
I really am transparent and you know you get so much intimate one-on-one -on -one, uh, time and information from me so yeah I have I'm preparing for that once I finish this assistant stuff um, and tonight it's on like business taxes budgeting finances and stuff like that so it's a pretty intense one so I have to go <laughs> so I can stay on task get myself together look like something and I'll talk to you guys later you doing <laughs> um clearly i'm at work oh wait geez. um i'll get my tripod later today is wednesday oh really today's wednesday the 27th clearly i'm at work um hopefully it'll stay up like this the masks always like bring your ears out like elf ears but um, yeah, I'm at work today. I'm doing a um, a walk-in appointment day. So kind of like walk-in Wednesday. Um, because I get like people have requested like, do you do walk-ins? And I've heard it more times than not. So or none. <laughs> so I was like sure i had a, um originally took this day off because i had my um I had, it was either doctor's or dentist appointment or something like that i had oh i know i had an appointment and so this time was blocked out but since that appointment has been rescheduled i decided to come in work today so I opened my calendar up and I said I'm taking walk-ins all day today, facials or waxing. So I'm just going to get prepared. I'm going to show you guys just a little bit what you can do to get prepared. Okay, this is not going to work. I just, <laughs> much better. Okay, so, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to show you what I do to prepare for like a walk-in day or what you can do. I typically don't do walk-in days, but I know how to prepare for it. So um, all you have to do is like, have everything almost kind of preset so for the towel warmer for instance i'm gonna put more than enough towels in here just in case i get walk-in facials so i'm gonna start with about six towels put in here and then what you do is instead of putting any more than that because you don't know how many people are gonna walk in um once you start to use the towels like you get a client and now you're using two towels or whatever uh put replace them so replace whatever you use so that way you can kind of have some type of organization with you know being set and also not just overly using like tiles and then you just got extra laundry for tiles that you didn't even use so i'm gonna start with six i'm gonna put six tiles in here i'm going to prep my steamer fresh put some fresh distilled water in there Wipe that down, clean that, uh, warm it up a little bit because it's easier to start back up once it's already been warmed up. Um, my wax pot is already going. I'm going to restock my um, stick wax sticks and my 4 by 4s Then I'm going to set up my little rolling station because I'm only doing facials and waxing so I don't have to worry about like that lash supplies but I'm going to set it up at the top with like facial products starter products cleansers and stuff until I know the client who's coming and like what specific products I need to use customized to their skin but like as far as like cleansers and you know four by four supplies the eye supplies and um just different things you need like the extractor all of that I'm gonna set that up of course fresh batch of barbicide in your tray um make sure everything is sterilized i'm gonna do all of my utensils over and that's pretty much it to like be prepared make sure you have your standby supplies which i already do because you know you guys know i have a wax cart 
so everything's pretty much ready to go um the only things i would need to do is just keep my bed clean keep it wiped off and i pretty much have everything all good and set so let's get to it so i'm gonna warm up my towels even remember what was going on last as always i never do um i think when i talked to y'all i know it was yesterday but i just don't remember where i left off i think i was getting lunch i don't know after our, i took a couple clients i had a walk-in day yesterday i got a lot of work done mostly um like i was at my desk just on like a robot mode i guess you could say tunnel vision because i get so much work done in um my office because i'm you know no distractions or whatever i put my phone on work mode anytime i'm doing anything any type of mode <laughs> I, and i'm unavailable so people can understand that i'm not like on my phone or whatever i'm doing something else i put that mode on so um, I had my phone in work mode, so um, I just was able to get a lot done, and I love that because it makes me feel like I'm catching up on like all my tasks. So, anywho, today is Thursday, April 28th. Um, I just left the dentist again. Yeah, y'all know that's like my second home at this point. I went in for my cleaning because last time um my appointment well you guys seen in my last vlog so last time i went to the dentist that was supposed to be my cleaning and my fill in fill in singular <laughs> because i was only supposed to get one and then when i got there they saw two other ones that they could catch before it was an issue which i explained last time so i ended up having to get three fillings three fillings <laughs> uh plural and that was unexpected so they pushed my cleaning back for another time which was today so i just got my cleaning she did so freaking good and she always always they well period them in general their energy in the office is just amazing i love the dentist there um and the dental assistants they are just so good she just was very detailed with like you can tell you know she wasn't aggressive or anything she was super detailed very careful cleaning everything really good gave me so many props on my teeth health um like the general health i don't have a lot of like gingivitis bacteria and because i haven't had my teeth cleaned since that because it was pandemic right so when the world shut down and we were just quarantined nothing was open for like a year um it pushed me back on like my schedules with like doctors dentists and stuff like that so and i'm like a every year person i'm really good with that type of i've always been though um so yeah that pandemic just kind of messed screwed everybody's life up so um she just kept saying like how impressed she was because while she was doing my cleaning she, there was like little to no bleeding she was saying and a lot of bleeding in your mouth means something's wrong something's infected or you just have a lot of bacteria build up or just you're not flossing i am going to i think i said this to you guys before but i'm going to the orthodontist and the orthodontist is going to fit me for, uh, they're gonna pull my wisdom teeth that's one and then they're gonna fit me for my trays i'm gonna get the invisalign trays for a few months um and that's to close up if anybody was wondering sorry it's hard to talk and show you at the same time but that's the close up like just this little space here because it's all closed and it and 
and the braces did really good at like that part but these are not missing they they were pulled so i know sometimes you know it's like when you see people with like gaps or whatever it's kind of like whatever you wonder okay why is there two but this was pulled by my previous orthodontist who was prepping my uh, mouth for the braces i did get so they had to pull two teeth at the top here and here and then two at the bottom this just didn't close up as you know seamlessly as this did if y'all can see so because of this just didn't do that so i'm i have to go back in and get the trays to be able to just close that up basically and they'll be exactly how i want them and then all i can do is just keep getting my whitenings and cleanings and i think all of my concerns um from like old stuff old dental work it will be gone that'll be um <laughs> she's so funny she was like oh a lot of your coffee because everybody knows me with the coffee now they know but she was like a lot of your coffee uh stains have come off <laughs> i was like yeah i know i'm the coffee drinker why well, i got the st sticker still on here not embarrassed not had this on here the whole time so if you've been watching me if you've been following me y'all i've had this shirt i bought this shirt all a year ago and i just just popped the tags on it obviously you just seen me pull the sticker off i just just popped the tags off it this morning to come here to my appointment ain't that crazy i want everything to be like buffed and smooth and get like any remaining it's just from like the old glue from my braces that wasn't completely <laughs> removed as i said i didn't really like my last orthodontist so i'm gonna, i'm about to get me some bubble tea uh while i wait to go back and um get the stuff off my teeth and when i walked in here let me tell you it's so funny she was telling everybody like the dentist she was telling everybody when i came in there she was like oh you guys do you remember this is the youtuber <laughs> she's the blogger and she was like uh show me the video because remember you guys i think i told you this last time i um i think last time i told you she asked was i going to be putting this on youtube when i was recording in my um dentist appointment the last time before i had one on my trip to miami i think it was it was either before i my birthday or i went on the trip to miami i can't remember when my appointment was but i know it was recent and so because i seen her today after you know i had already like edited and put it up she was like let me see so i had to go on my youtube and we were sitting there in the office and i'm showing her the youtube video and she was just so excited she was like wow she was like oh thank you so much yeah they're they're really good so uh, let's go in here and get some bubble tea the bubble tea place is right here and enough chitter chatter of catching you guys up i just like to be you know y'all my good good girlfriends so <laughs> i'm trying to tell y'all all the tea of the day <laughs> this is my ted talk so now that we're done with that let's go get some bubble tea it looks really good it almost looks like a coffee honestly but it's called dirty milk tea and um this is a large and then i got the boba you can get it without the boba but i which is the little like ball bulbs or balls whatever um and it's like caramel and the milk is just creamer um and i think it's a non-dairy creamer okay y'all <clears throat> all right y'all just left out of the dentist and they're already much whiter and obviously softer or smoother i'm gonna keep saying soft because they do just feel soft and they just feel amazing y'all 
Like, I don't feel any... I don't feel any leftover, like, braces glue. Because that was the issue. I had the glue from the braces still left over from, for, from everything that the last people never completely took off. The, so, I'm going to talk to you guys later, probably. I'm going to go get me something to eat. I want, like, a really nice salad. So, I'm going to probably go to Chopped or something like that. I don't know. And that's it. That's all, folks. See you later.